Hi, this is Edward Troxell. In today's video, we are going to look at how to create a program in Premiere. Got a lot to cover today, so let's get started. First of all, let's go to the samples website. Adobe has created some samples at github.com. So if you go to github.com.adobe-cap/samples, you can go to this code thing here and download the zip file, and you can download the entire zip file into your computer. Inside this zip file, you'll see several different examples. The one that we are most interested in is the P Pro panel. If you open the P Pro panel over in GitHub, you'll see all the same things that we will see over on in the zip file, except we'll also see all kinds of instructions down here. To get an unsightened panel to actually load in Premiere, we need to make a change into the registry. So to do that, you can just go in here where it says type here to search, and you can type in R-E-G-E-D-I-T, and press enter. Then you can go into the H key current user software, Adobe CS XS.10, which is where it's, or .9, whichever version you have and you need to add a player debug mode and it is going to be of type when you go in to type new you're going to do a string value and then you would type in player debug mode where it says new value one and give it a value of one the next thing i'm going to do is take this pro panel i'm going to copy it and then if we look here, it tells us that we need to place it into C colon program files, x86 common files, Adobe CEP extensions. So now we'll take go to our browser and go to C colon program files, x86 common files. Adobe CEP extensions and let's paste that here. Now that the registry is set and the extension is in place, let's open Premiere and see what we see. Premiere always requires you to have a project open, so I happen to have an untitled project that is blank so that I can quickly just get a project open without having to go through and specify all the project settings each time. And now that the project is open, we can go to Windows, Extensions, and we will see that our sample panel is now displayed here, and if we open it, it opens up a window with all kinds of information in it. So now that we know that it's working, let's try to create one on our own. So now that we know that it's working, let's see about running a little script that does not have a panel that opens up. It just runs directly in Premiere. If we look under the P Pro panel, we will see that there are a bunch of different files here. The index.html file is what was displayed on the screen. Inside JSX, you will typically see other code files. Inside CSXX, you will see a manifest file, which is required for a running script. Uh, under VS Code, you will see a launch.json file, which is one file that we are going to need for our test script so I am going to copy this folder and then I'm going to come up to our test scripts folder and we're going to create a new folder called Premiere Test inside that folder 
I am going to paste the folder that we copied while ago and then I'm going to add a simple text file and I'm going to rename this as test.jsx so now this is really all of the files that we need to run a test script but the next question is how do we edit that test to run a test script, it is recommended that you download Visual Studio Code. You can find that at code.visualstudio.com. So you'll want to go there and download the current version. Once you have Visual Studio Code installed, you need to run that. And you need to click on this extensions icon right here. Under extensions, you need to type in extend script debugger we can see that it's already listed right here so you can select that and you want to make sure you get the one that's made by Adobe there are some other extend scripts things in here like this one from Henrik Stable but you want the one that's made by Adobe. Then you want to make sure you get that installed. Once that is installed, we can go up and choose File, Open Folder. Now we are going to go to our C colon test scripts and we are going to open the Premiere test that we just created. When we open that, it will open the entire folder so that we can see that we have the VS code with the launch.json in it and our test.jsx. So if you notice, I clicked on test.jsx and it is currently empty. If I click on launch.json, you'll notice that it has some other things in here. What I want to do in this case is I want to change this to point to my test.jsx. It's not inside a folder, so I'm going to get rid of all of this and change that to test. Now we really need to change this so that it points to an actual folder. Uh, our folder is, why don't we just put it in our workspace folder. And then we will come in here, and here is where we're actually going to write our code. In this particular case, we're going to do the same thing that we did in Vegas. We're going to just get the version. So let's type in var version equals app dot version, and then we're going to display it using an alert. Alert Premiere version plus version. Let's go ahead and save all this and let's open Premiere again. Back in Visual Studio Code, if we click on this Run icon, that will bring us over to this screen. And we'll notice we have Debug and Premiere Pro listed. If we try to run this, you notice it pops up an error message that it can't start a session without an active target. Well, we haven't set the target yet. So let's press Control shift a and it will bring up this select the target application and we're going to select Adobe Premiere Pro. Now that we have that selected, we can run this again. Come over to Premiere and it has the message Premiere version 14.7.0. So go back to Visual Studio Code and you notice it is finished. 
So we have just run this sample script in Premiere, and it only required us to have two files. The two files are the file that has the code in it and the JSON file which referenced that code. In future videos, we'll extend on these capabilities by adding new features and even adding in screens that can be displayed. So look forward to future versions in programming in Premiere. Please sign up at www.jettv.com and subscribe on YouTube to get further notifications on when new videos are presented.